So we are looking at the software design principles that is producing the software blueprint. Most important in software development processes is the software design because if design is good then you can assume that what you are coding will be the best. So we will see uh, and try to understand the importance of design in developing a quality software. So design is directly related or reflected with the quality. We would like to describe the translation from the requirement analysis model to the design model and we will try to understand the principles that guide us for a proper design of a software. What you are going to do when you want to design a house? If you are asked to design a house, this is what you are going to do. You will plan first. You will see where what you want. So what is the design? It explains the idea or concept of certain problem you need to solve. And usually you do it with certain graphical diagrams and you have an intention to build from the explanation. So the design is a representation of a product or a system with the detail and sufficient detail for its implementation. So it is going for implementation. The detail should be there and it is a representation. You see that design and you implement. The second idea or task is first for a problem, you need to do some analysis. After that you design and you make models. Then you develop with respect to the models which are designed and then the solution which has come up. The de development is for certain solution and the testing of these solutions. So from our understanding of the problem, we start building the software. Then we translate the analysis model into the design model. We translate our analysis model into the design model. We map the information from the analysis model to the design representation. That is, we first make the data design, then we try to go for the architectural design, interface design, procedural design, and these are not in the order. So these design, that is the data design, architectural design, the interface design, and the procedural design. So these design, they cumulatively, they can call to be a complete design. How you are going to translate, because translation model of different aspects, there are four designs, that is I said the data design, architectural design, interface design and procedural design. So we have various uh, aspects that can be translated. For example, just take the case of DFD. DFD data uh, flow diagram can be translated into interface design or it can be translated into the architectural design. In the similar fashion when you are talking about data dictionary, that will be translated into data design. right? And uh, the state transition diagram, it can be translated into the procedural design like this. So we have data object description, process specification, control specification and these are the broad view and various internal. So you can translate this into analysis model into your design and you know by now there are four types of design. So design principle include the design process should not suffer from any tunnel vision means it should not be, uh, it needs to be very broad. Tunnel means your view is blob. You are not seeing other aspects. The should, design should be traceable to analysis model. What you have done in the analysis, the, the design should be traceable to that. So the design should not reinvent the wheel because time is less. Whatever is there, for that we will talk about the patterns. The design should minimize the inte intellectual distance between the software and the problem in the real world. Because actually, the problem which is provided to you, you are going to solve it through your software. So you need to minimize that intellectual distance. The design should explicitly show the uniformity and the integration. The design should be structured to accommodate change. Means if sometime after in the later stage, you are supposed to change, then accommodating change in the design will be difficult. So make it like this so that you can uh, welcome the change and do the change. The design should be structured to degrade gently. Design is not coding. Coding it is, is a different aspect. And coding is not a design. You cannot design while coding. You cannot uh, code while designing. The design should be assessed for quality because I said quality design is a direct parameter to, to the quality as it is being created, not after the fact. The design should be reviewed to minimize the conceptual errors. 
we are not talking about the syntax that will go in the in the coding phase we are talking about the conceptual errors that will be checked verified in the design itself so the design concepts include the uh, foundation of certain things which are done uh, to design correctly abstraction refinement modularity software architecture control hierarchy that means structural partitioning should be there data structure should be made software procedure and information hiding should be adopted what about abstraction we want to identify important important features of the representation and there can be many levels of abstraction depending upon how detailed the representation you would want or you would like to have you can have data abstraction that is representation of data objects procedural abstraction that is representation of the instructions refinement that is you want to refine step wise top down design you know, which was given by niklaus starting at the highest level of abstraction every step you find you decompose decompose instruction into more detailed instructions this is complementary to your abstraction what we have seen then the modularity we want to divide the software into separately named and addressable modules we will use the divide and conquer approach problem is broken into manageable pieces and the solution for each these pieces will then be integrated into the whole system this is the divide and conquer which we are talking about we are taking one then we are dividing into p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 then we are making it more uh, manageable then comes the software architecture so modules can be integrated in many ways to produce the system so software architecture is the overall structure of the software software architecture is the overall structure of the software the hierarchy of the components and how they interact and the structure of the data used by the components use of the framework models and the possible reuse of the architectural patterns so what are these software architecture patterns then you have recurring patterns you know that have designed to reuse successful designs by basing new design on a prior experience what you have made why why do you want to do it again because what you have done can be used again the designer who is familiar with such patterns can apply them immediately to design problems without reinventing or rediscovering them why would we like to have this design of patterns because if you want or you want to enhance or encourage the reuse what you have done already successfully because it is not new it is recognized that it is that it is something that engineers have done for years it will improve the communication the step towards a software engineers uh, handbook this is the example of software architecture this is the program structure this is the batch sequential pattern so you can have various type of software architecture then we come to the control hierarchy the hierarchy of modules which represent the control relationship the superordinate module controls another module the subordinate module is controlled by some other module we can have a measurement of uh, control hierarchy the relevancy is in depth the width and the fan in and the fan out so this is the structure terminology these are the number of fan out these are the number of fan ins this is depth this is width this all correspond to the design the structural partitioning the program structure can be partitioned either horizontally or vertically horizontal partitioning defines separate branches for each major program function that is input output and process while the vertical uh, partitioning also known as the factoring defines control that is decision making at top and work at the bottom the software procedure the processing details of the individual modules which we have made with modularity so precise specification of processing including the sequence of events the exact decision points the repetitive operations and the data organization structure so procedure is layered that is subordinate modules must be referenced in processing more details then comes the information hiding so information that is procedure and also the data they are contained within a module in, which is inaccessible to other modules that have no need for such information they would not require it so effective modularity is achieved by independent modules they may communicate only certain necessary information and ease of maintenance of course testing modification uh, localized mod modification will be localized and the, you know the problem will not be propagated so these are the references we have taken for this design the uh, software engineering by the great somerville and pressman so this was about uh, design hope you got a bit idea what design is what uh, why design is important why you have to uh, put a lot of effort in designing so that your quality is good and your software is uh, appreciated thank you